My topic is, Lord, refresh me. How many needs to be refreshed today? How many need to be refreshed today? Hallelujah. And the word refresh means renew, revive, make strong. How many want to be renewed today? How many need to be revived? Revived in your spirit. How many need to be made stronger today? Oh God, I thank you. And truly God is good and my subtitle is give me to drink. Give me to drink. I don't want regular water. I don't want any orange juice. I don't want even any iced tea. But God, give me the drink of your spirit. I want a drink of that living water that keeps flowing eternally, hallelujah. That'll pick me up and turn me around, hallelujah. That'll help me go through my trials. That'll help me go through my tribulation. That'll help me stand in opposition. Oh God, I thank you. That'll help me be able to work on my job each and every day. And stay strong. That'll keep my body healed, hallelujah. God, give me to drink of that living water. Refreshing water. God, I thank you. And truly, I mean, I had the privilege to preach on this in quite a few years. I probably preached on this about maybe eight years ago. Every once in a while, God will bring you back. That's right. That's right. And I'm sure I'll preach it a whole different way. <laughs> truly, God is good. And we're going to talk about the woman of Samaria. The woman of Samaria. And we're going to begin at the fourth verse. And he must needs to go through Samaria. And we're talking about Jesus. Jesus knew he needed to go through Samaria. For this woman that was at the well. He needed to go. And it was for a reason. And let me just give you a little history on Samaria. It was one of the cities in the land of Israel in the 9th and the 8th century before Christ. And it started during the time of the, in the Abraham, actually they're from the Abraham Sea. And actually they spit, split during the time of Eli, the priest. So the Samaritans are from the Abraham Sea the Israelites, and they came from the descendants of Joseph, and truly jo Jacob had went through Samaria, and he had bought the land for his son Joseph. And then his two sons took over, Ephraim and Manasseh. And even part of the Levi seed, they say, that the Samaritans came from. And so the Samaritans were half and half. They were many people. But the Jews did not accept them because they considered them unclean. They didn't practice in their full custom. And when they did split with the son, uh, with, during Eli, does anybody remember Eli Samuel? Yes. The prophet Samuel. Yes. When Hannah yes. had her baby, she gave Samuel, who was Samuel, she gave him back to Eli and dedicated him to the Lord. That's where baptism came from. That's, you always hear the pastor read over that. To give back. Because when we have our children, they're not our own. And you want to give them back to God. Because you can't protect them like God can. Can anybody protect them like God can? None of us can protect them like God can. So Hannah gave Samuel, back to God, and Eli, the priest raised up. So the split came over the Holy Land. Or not. Abraham's seed always fighting over the Holy Land. <laughs> That's why they split the Samaritans. Split went their own way because they were fighting over the Holy Land. 
which was correct, which wasn't correct. And then they begin to go in their own way. But does anybody know that Jesus never forgets never. his people? Never. He never forgets his people. So he thought that there was a need that he go through Samaria. Because one thing about God, doesn't God always keep his promise? God always keeps his promise. And when he talked to Father Abraham, he told Abraham that he was going to bless his seed like the seas of the seashore. Can you number the seed? Can you number the sands? Can you number the grain? He told him he was going to bless his seed. So Jesus needed to go to Samaria to restore that which was spoken. Oh yeah. He had to restore the Samaritans because they were a very important part of the Abraham seed. He had to restore his blessings. And when Jesus came down, he first came down for his people, the Israelites, the Jews. But they rejected him. My God, my God. But when he went to the woman of Samaria, we're going to see something different. My God, my God. Hey! Woo! I get excited thinking about it. Oh God, I thank you. I get excited. Now, how many excited about Jesus? Yes. My God. I know the prophet is the result. She always moving. But right. I'm excited about Jesus. Yes. I love the Lord. Yes. How many love the Lord today? Yes. Woo, hallelujah. And just like he didn't forget the Samaritans, he didn't forget the Gentiles either, did he? Right. And we are the Gentiles. Hallelujah. And anybody that's not a Jew is a Gentile. Whether you're Italian, French, Indian, Asian, white or black, it doesn't matter. Latino, but we're Gentiles. Yes. And it says in the scripture that there was going to be a certain people that were going to be adopted in the royal family. Adopted. <laughs> in the royal family. Are you adopted today? In the royal family. Hallelujah. <laughs> my God, my God. So that blessing did not skip over us. Hallelujah. It came our way. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Woo, don't let me get you excited. Okay, let me preach a little bit more. Let me teach a little bit more. And then coming he to the city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. And we already had said that Jacob gave the land to his son Joseph. And his two offsprings, Ephraim and Manassas, they took home. And Joseph did not. Anybody know why Joseph did? Remember Joseph, when his brothers cast him down in the pits and told Jacob that he was dead and faked the whole thing. Then the Egyptians came by and he sold him to the Egyptians. He was brought in the land of Egypt. Joseph went through a lot. And he was thrown in prison. But how many know that when you're a child of the king, you have favor? When you're a child of the king, you have favor. And God always keeps his promises. And Joseph was a dreamer. And because God gave him that gift, it brought favor on his head. And he was able to find favor with the Egyptian. And he was able to be in his house. Once he interpreted the dream, he brought Joseph into his house. He brought him into his house. And it was part of her, thus. He brought him into the house. And he treated him 